Okay, we're, we're up here today, and uh, this guy right here, Scott here, he, from Lucky Chuckies and Four Seasons Sports, brought up all these skis here, yeah. and uh, for the chicks on sticks to demo uh, a bunch of skis up here. And look, he even got more in the back of the truck here. And so guess what, you guys? He offered me to ride a pair of these demo skis. So I'm gonna ride them and let you know what I think. And I gotta tell you guys, if you're ever in the Sun River area, uh, Lucky Chuckies of uh, Four Seasons is the place to be. And check it out, and you will get killer rentals if that's what you need, or buy some too. Okay, okay, this is what he's got. It's an Atomic Alibi. Atomic Alibi. It's a, uh, it's a 98 waist. Uh huh. 19 and a half meter turn radius. They milled out the center of the ski and the wood here, uh -huh. and then they inlaid. Titan, titanol actually, so they kind of kept it stiff but not real heavy. Awesome, awesome, awesome ski. Super That's car gonna do, do me a gnarly GS turn. I have yeah. a feeling. A little bit of rocker in the tip. Yeah. Not much in the tail. A little bit in the tail. I'm down. Okay. Well, we're gonna put gonna these. We're gonna put these things on and give them a whirl by the by the Dominator man himself. Thanks, Scott. You betcha. Okay. Okay. So I'm on these new Atomic Alibis, and. Uh, I'll tell you what, he did a, a, a good job on the wax in there at Lucky Chucky's Four Seasons because uh, coming down to the chair here, I'm rolling and uh, I am a tech myself, so okay, we're going to check this stuff out. Oh yeah, a little Led Zeppelin to get us going, but we're going to have to turn that off so they don't copyright my video. Okay, so I, I'm on the lift and uh, these things ran really well with this wax job down to the chair. And uh, Atomic Alibi, I'm so excited because uh, I love to try uh, new skis and see what I think, even though I might not be able to afford them initially. But at any rate, uh, this thing got, I'm trying to look right here. A progressive side cut, all mountain rocker, titanium backbone or something like that, and a wood core. So Atomics, I always like the Atomics. I got a pair of Arc Ambitions. It's a B4, an Asian top sheet model, and I love those. But uh, okay, man, I'm excited, I'm excited. These are from Lucky Chuckies and Four Seasons Sports in Sun River there. And they're right next to the uh, doggone pizza place, Blondie's, which is the best pizza in Sun River too. So, okay, standing by. Okay, well, I'm at the top on these Atomic Alibis, and I gotta assume that they're gonna have a, at least a one degree base bevel on it, so let's see if, what if we can spin them around once. Okay, yeah, they're doing that really good. Like that, we got rocker on both, both ends. Okay, now let's see what we can get going here on some turns. This is hard with the camera, but here we go. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm liking them. Oh, nice edge. Typical atomic. The turn radius is not real sharp, but I knew that already. Oh man, nice, nice. Really nice ski. It's holding the edge really good, just like you think an atomic would. doing but they made the my my patented all the way around uh, turn so okay that was awesome 
I gotta tell you guys, Atomic Alibi, kicking some booty. Go check them out at uh, Lucky Chucky's and Four Seasons there in Sun River. And when you come in there, turn on the beaver there. They're the first ski shop on the right there, super convenient. Okay, we are checking out. Okay, here's something that you don't see too often. Some of these custom snowboards that were made for a company. And they right here are saying, saying, the, the, ca the captain was here, and that's the Captain Morgan Spiced Rum. And look, if you're gonna drink this stuff on the mountain, be responsible. Okay, so we're up here at the top of the lift, and we're with Lifty Ryan today. Ryan got the day off, so he gets the frickin' free ski. And I told him, I, I'm going down into the parks to finish my video. He's on some Apache recons here. Let's see what kind of turns Ryan can make, you know. Some of these lifties are really good. And some of them, well, you know, maybe not as good as the others. A little swarve there, but he's carving it. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, good turns. Nice turns, Ryan. Nice turns, okay. Well, I better stay behind him right now. Because... I don't want to get any wrecks here. So, all right, nice, nice, nice turns, bro. Thank you. There was a little bit of slarve there. Give me a knuckle. A little bit of slarve at the beginning there, but you are a carver, brother. Thanks. Yeah, That's nice fun. moves. All right, we're running down into the park. Lifty Ryan, thanks for all your smiles while you're working the lifts, brother. Oh, it's a pleasure to oh, serve every awesome, day. Awesome, awesome. Oh, go condo, go condo. Nice straight air. Okay, down here at a place that I really, I noticed Corey is going easy, so he must have hurt himself somewhere there. You taking the, oh, 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 oh. anyway, take it. Okay, they've changed this up right here. Okay, this is a place you guys have seen me post uh, several times this season now. And this is the point line and the big, the big, okay, so you recognize this, right? The, the, can, the Cannon Beach and the intersection of the point. Cannon Beach uh, starts from way up there. So check this out. This is where we had the box trot before and we had the uh, the corrugated cannon. So now we got the corrugated going down and we've got a smaller box rail here. Okay. Not as big and fat, you know, a, a, as that other one that was here before, but, uh, but there it is down. Okay. And then down below they've changed it up too. So there they've got a down flat down box and it looks like the rest is looking like it was. But we got some changes up here for sure. Now we got I got some people hollering, so I don't know. Let's see what they got. Let's see if they got something for this new down rail here or box. Like say a nice tail press. It's a it's a skinny box. No on the corrugated. Okay, checking it out. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, that was good, that was good. And just uh, just oh cruise by with a little ollie there check them out on that on that down flat down a little bit there they go okay oh there goes burks on the on the down rail what's he gonna do on this down flat down he's probably taking a little easy because i just saw him in the parking lot and his it, he broke his freaking binding okay and these guys you know they oh these guys, you know, when, when they're, uh, the ra oh my God. Oh shoot, missing these guys over here. The, I love to catch the big guys over the uh, rails. I mean, I'm just, you know, I get way more excited with the jumping, I gotta admit. Oh yeah, knee ice, faux show. So anyway, okay, here comes another one. Coming in, I'm gonna make a few steps. Let's see, it looks slow, but he's, he's on the go. Oh, nice cross, super smooth, freaking nice uh, style points. Uh, from the both of those guys and extra style points once you've lost your poles as a skier Okay, now obviously when you're a snowboarder, you know, you don't have the poles Occasionally, uh, I Occasionally I do see a snowboarder with a pole or something and you know I don't know whether at that point to to demerit the uh, style point or actually give them an extra style point 
because they're they're using a pole you know because when they don't want to get stuck on a flat spot and have to uh, cross country snowboard okay dead zone standing by oh what did I didn't even say what day it is it is Thursday it is the 14th of, of February it is a Valentine's Day and we're standing by okay here we got one coming down and no it's not gonna do any of the stuff there and that guy is yeah yeah and there they go is he gonna do any more no no not currently gonna do more okay wait a minute up down up down yeah you're doing it up oh and all the way over the down and there he goes okay here comes another one in for the down uh box which is it's a real narrow box it, you know i it's almost like a rail but it's not quite a rail now that down flat down is definitely a box nice no one behind oh no okay i can't get that side they're out of sight well i will say one thing today it is a beautiful day valentine's day here at mount bachelor and she is not going to do it but this dude is oh yeah 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 no, just simple ride on the on the down uh box oh and dylan there uh pretty much sailing over half of it and then not doing the rest down there see maybe come on give us some up down here brothers up down up down oh yeah nice okay so we're riding the atomics today this is atomic arc ambition she got a 13 meter turn radius and I only weigh about 125 and uh, but I would tell you that if you press these I think they can do about a 10 meter turn for sure and these are a bad -o ski they got see that gray part right there where you really work the edges they got ceramic in that base material there and uh, makes it really hard so you know you don't wear out the edges as fast uh, but anyway, the Atomic Arc Ambitions, yes, sir. Uh, to my knowledge, this is an Asian top sheet uh, Atomic. It's a B4 construction. And if anybody can tell me different, that it's not an Asian market ski, well, give me a note. And anyway, Dominator. Dominator killing it right there. Dominator killing it for me for a long time. Okay, we are standing by. Now that doesn't mean every day if I'm using the 4x4 or something that I hit the right combo, but the Zoom, the Zoom series, be it Hyper Zoom, Low Floral, or be it a New Snow, you're going to use that Graphite Zoom, and uh, the Standard Zoom, Hydrocarbon, super good for older snow too, but the... Uh, the hyper zoom's got a low floor. Now, when you really want to get down on it, when the snow is a little moister, go for that doggone Dominator uh, race zoom old snow. That Dominator race zoom old snow that brings you up to a medium level of fluorination. Uh, but you know, again, a bachelor, the snow can stay really dry at bachelor sometimes. A lot drier than you might think it it might be, even though the temperature is higher but when you get into slush city okay like when we get into the spring and get into the major slush city then uh, you need to use that butter overlay on top of your your, your race zoom old snow or whatever it is you you know you got there for the zoomy uh, and one thing about when you're using the butter okay that's a highly fluorinated overlay and you got to work some fluorinated hydrocarbons into the ski first for that stuff to stick and last, let's say, okay? Because you can take and put butter on a ski in the spring that has no fluorinated hydrocarbons put into it. And it will, it'll go for a while, but those high floral over rubs or overlays, uh, they don't walk into a ski real well unless it's already been waxed up with some fluorinated hydrocarbons okay it's okay we're standing by i'm thinking this is sam i don't know oh 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 a little bobble there i'm pretty sure that's sam though and uh 
So anyway, the other day I was talking to Sam, and I've been meaning to stop him because I had his brother Atticus mixed up with Lyle, and I was when I met Sam, I go, oh, man, your brother got really nice teeth. And not that his brother doesn't have nice teeth, but actually the guy I was thinking of was Lyle, not Atticus at the moment. But uh, anyway, Atticus and uh, Sam are brothers. I'm pretty sure that was Sam. Now, I could be wrong, but you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it said Benetton on the bottom of that board. You know, and I don't know if any of you are familiar with Benetton, but uh, they had an F1 race team. Now, I don't know if they still do, but they make all kinds of great sports equipment. And, you know, uh, they are some serious engineers at Benetton, no doubt about it. Okay, we're standing by. Coming for the big. Oh, little tail grabbing a straight air. Nothing big. He's checking it before he wrecks it. Okay, these guys are goofing off, man. Uh, you know, I don't know what they're doing. You know, sometimes he got to get a little injured. Is he going for the corrugated? Oh yeah, oh, killer uh, tail press off that freaking corrugated right there. You just gotta like that. Oh yeah, ni nice ride, nice ride. So anyway, there they go. And uh, like I say, they, they just changed this line up a little bit here. And that's fine because, you know, it's no fun, you know, if it's always the same. But, oh, a oh, oh, hundred ways to ride a box. It's gotta find another way. So anyway, it's kind of fun though when they change it, but then at the same time, people get all accustomed to, you know, where the particular box or rail was, and then they, oh, now I gotta change my program. Now what I'm not liking about it is if I get up into a certain position where I can see both the big air jumps right now, uh, it used to be I could see that whole box trot right there, but now I can only see part of the box, the down box, so anyway, we're going to stand by at this big one here, because here comes a couple hitters. Now this guy's crazy, because I know his freaking binding is broken or something, but it, maybe it's holding in there. Oh, style -ishes, uh style -ishes from Willie Licious. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're in some kind of like 180 with a sort of a, I mean, not 180, 360 with some sort of a like a daffy as he's going around. That guy is killer. Well, you know, we're going to get you a few more. I think I'm going to try to keep today's video a little shorter in the parks. Because I go, oh yeah, sort of a similar move to what uh, Burks was trying there. I don't know who that is. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Okay. So anyway, uh, here comes another one here. See what we got. Come on, bring it, brother. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stylicious. Yeah. Good moves. Good moves. Okay, let's see what he got on the second one. <laughs> Chicken corky action there, whatever the heck you call that. That was insane. Oh yeah, nice straight air with a little wiggle. It's all good. Okay, missed that one there. Okay, here come Kondo. Kondo always good for a show, like his buddy Corio. And there you go. Let's see what he got on the second one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm just missing this one. Okay, doggone it. <laughs> and there they are. Okay, we've been here for a lap. Man, this guy is carving that freaking board. And I just missed the other turn, but uh, see if he can do some more. He holding the good edge. Oh, missed that guy doing the gap. Carving and slarving right there. And here they come. They're all coming down this way just to book it. And uh, oh yeah, yeah, getting a little, little action there on the box. Anyway, we're standing by. I guess we'll walk back over this way because because they're not going for the big and I can get more shots this way. Walking, getting shaky with the cam. Oh yeah, nice, nice. Okay, just running this down, box. Again, that box is skinny. It's not a fat one. Okay, we got a, a, a corrugated down. Yeah, riding corrugated down. Yeah. You know, takes a lot of talent to stay on those round features such as the corrugated down checking them out on the up down there they go 
Well, I got to tell you, it is such a beautiful Valentine's Day up here. Thursday the 14th, 2013. You know, I think I'm just, as much as I love to do these videos in the park, and I've told you guys several times, bring it on a weekday to Bachelor Parks, because, I mean, it is freaking slow, and the groom is so good. I mean, everything is so perfect here. Uh, if I was a park rider, I would just be, like, in heaven right here. So I'm going to cut out. Uh, I guess I should say that Bachelor Parks are ripping it down. Bachelor Parks are kicking it down. And the runners rip it even harder. Okay, maybe we'll come back, but maybe not. Maybe this is it, folks. Okay. Batch the pox, checking it out. Oh, well, wait a minute. Okay, we, we got it. Okay, let's get these couple more guys before I split then. Okay, so let's see what they got, what they're bringing here to Bachelor Park. Stand by. Okay, here comes one going for the big. A nice straight sail in it. He's checking it. You got to check it before you wreck it. Oh, nice. In other words, when you check it, when you always hear me say check it before you wreck it, yeah, it does mean before, oh, oh my God, it does mean before you actually have a wreck, but checking it before you wreck it also means that you're going to check it with an easy trick before you uh, wreck it, okay? In other words, then when we say wreck it, that means you are going to freaking do a move that is just insane, you know, And but but you don't wreck it before you check it. Okay, and there it is. Okay. Corn. Oh no 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 no! Oh, I'm I'm kind of not in the right spot for the corrugated, but they were certainly trying to work it. But one thing I want to show you guys here. Okay, yeah. Okay, turn my way, would you please? Yeah. Uh, stop right there because I got the zoom way up. Uh, we do like a black strap but there's another company right here and i want some support here folks elusive elusive because uh, yeah because elusive, elusive i know the dude and he's a far out good person and so support some elusive snowwear so that you too can be elusive Let's get a shot uh, like that. elusive on the snow through the through the glasses a little smudgy on the glasses but that gives you an idea right, of the visual hey be good out there yeah, yeah, you so we were going to cut off here but now we're just gonna have to give it just another moment before we cut out. Valentine's Day at Bachelor Parks, and they are kicking it out here on this newly positioned down box. And again, a narrow down box, but it is a down box. And there is a much fatter a down flat down. And they are spinning it around. Okay, checking out. Ah, what the heck, let's catch Gus here. You know, sometimes I say I'm leaving and then they keep coming down so I don't quite leave yet. So hang on here because I think we got Sam up here. I'm pretty sure that's Sam now. I've said a couple times, but maybe it is not. Standing by. Okay, like I said, I said I was leaving, but I lied. Okay, because here he comes and I think it's Sam. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, little bobble, he's, he's bombed, he bobbled, because now he can't hit the second one, because he lost the speed. You gotta have a lot of speed. Here come Dylan Be Smooth. Now, typically Dylan Be Smooth, it does not do like, usually more than, than threes and fives, maybe some sevens. But you know, oh! But Dylan Be Smooth is freaking smooth, okay? And you know, and that's what he likes. He don't want to kill himself. May not do the most spins, but when he does them, he is freaking smooth. Okay, come another guy on the board, bringing it down. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm trying to read that bottom of that board again. I think it said Benetton. You know, oh, kind of a little bit hard for me to read here without you know pausing it, but. Uh, I did not oh no that that Benetton was in the in the board business. And here comes some park personnel calling them the dudes in black. The dudes in black, of course I'm not in a good spot to really see them here, but 
but we always got to give kudos to him and taking the corrugated because the dudes in black are the ones who take care of the track and uh you know it's not like when the, when the ramp gets messed up i don't see anybody else out here raking of course they're not supposed to be raking it but uh but these are the guys that take care of biz here and we got to show appreciation always to the dudes in black yes we do so there they go all right this is it man i'm calling it that's the posse kicking it down that's the posse ripping it down and the runners ripping even harder it is Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2013, and we are checking out.